Dear students, this is 11th Zoology video class, chapter 2, Kingdom Animalia, part 9, chapter 2, Kingdom Animalia, part 9. Last video class, we have seen Subpylum vertebrata and then class cyclostomata class cyclostomata we are completed the next topic we are going to see is the one class chondrichthys class chondrichthys we'll see this topic class chondrichthys so this class chondrichthys they are marine fishes with cartilaginous endoskeleton with cartilaginous endoskeleton you know what do you mean by cartilaginous soft bone or flexible bone endoskeleton means the skeleton which are made up of inside the body that is we call as endoskeleton then notochord is persistent throughout life Notochord. What is notochord? String like structure or cord like structure. They have throughout life that notochord they, they are present in this class throughout life. Throughout life. Skin is tough covered by dermal placoid scales. The skin seems to be a very tough one. And placoid scales is our type of scales. And caudal fins and caudal fins is a heteroceracal. It's a heteroceracal. Heterocircle. That's a one asymmetrical, both externally and internally. This caudal fins, it's a heterocircle means the fins may be the fins they present opposite directions, opposite side, both sides. Then mouth is located ventrally and teeth are modified placoid scales which are backwardly directed. Which are backwardly, backwardly directed. Their jaws are very powerful. Their jaws are very powerful and are predaceous animals and are predaceous animals. Respiration is by lamely form gills. Respiration by lamely form gills. Lamely form means what? Uh, the gill seems to be plate like structure. That is, we call as a lamely form gills without operculum. Without operculum, which means that's the outer layer of the gills. Gill covering. That is, they say as a operculum. Excretory organs are mesonephric kidneys. Excretory organs. You know what do you mean by excretory organs? Used to send out the waste. Okay. They are mesonephric kidneys. They are mesonephric kidneys. Two chambered heart is present. Two chambered heart is present. Cartilaginous fishes are ureotelic. Cartilaginous fishes are ureotelic. They store urea. What is urea telic? Since this kind of animal, they excrete urea. That is, we call as a urea telic. And store urea in their blood to maintain osmotic concentrations of body fluid. They are piculothermic. They are piculothermic, which means body temperature will be changed according to their environment. That is, we call as a piculothermic. And we be Paris. And VV parents, which means the organism which give birth, they are called as VV parents. Sexes are separate. In males, pelvic fins bear claspers to aid in internal fertilizations. Example, scoliodon, that's a shark, trigon, a stink race, pristis, 
it's a sawfish so these are the examples of chondrichthys these are the examples of chondrichthys this next class osteichthys next class osteichthys here so this class includes both marine as well as the freshwater fishes with bony endoskeleton with bony endoskeleton and spindle shaped yeah these are the examples of ostic this ostic this shark already we have seen flying fish sea horse and angel fish examples of ostic this okay then here the continuations of this one the spindle shaped body you know what do you mean by spindle two cell like structures that is this here is a spindle shaped body and skin is covered by canoid cycloid or uh, tenoid scales so these are the different types of scales and this different types of scales are covered in the skins respiration is by four pairs of filamentous gills and is covered by operculum on either side air bladder is present air bladder is present with or without connections to the gut so air bladder what is the use of this air bladder this air bladder is to store air this air bladder is to some of the organism used to connect to the gut as some of the organism may not connect to the gut that's why the gut means gills here they say it helps in gaseous exchange that's we call as a lungs fishes and form maintaining buoyancy in most of the ray fin fishes buoyancy means balancing one so they maintain buoyancy in most of the ray fin fish they are ventrally placed to chambered heart they are ventrally placed to chambered heart Extra organs are mesonephric kidneys. Extra organs are mesonephric kidneys and are ammonotelic and are ammonotelic, which means the organism which they release ammonia as excreta product. That is because of ammonotelic. Then presence of well-developed lateral line sense organs. They have well-developed sense organs in the lateral side. Sexes are separate. external fertilization is seen and most forms are oviparous so here this class ostic this they are oviparous what do you mean by oviparous the organism which lay egg and they hatch out egg one that is we call as oviparous example exocoitus that's a flying fish hippocampus sea horse labio that is because of rohu katla that is because of katla then echinis that is a sucker fish then teropylum that is a angel fish so these are the class the next topic we will see class amphibia next topic we will see class amphibia here amphibia means both bias means life life occurs in both place water as well as the land amphibians are the first vertebrates underline take your textbook just underline this one and tetrapods to live both in aquatic as well as terrestrial habitats both live aquatic as well as terrestrial habitats they are poikilothermic which means the body temperature can change according to their environment the body is divisible into head and trunk and most of them have two pairs of limbs most of them have two pairs of limbs what is limbs are hands and legs we call as a limbs tail may or may not be present so in this one tail may or may not be present so here so these are the examples of examples of contic this as well as here ostic this both examples are given here then the fins 
the two pairs of tails may or may not be present and skin is smooth or rough moist pigmented and glandular you know what i mean by smooth or maybe rough moist means always seems to be wet one always seems to be wet if you touch the amphibians the frog the skin seems to be wet one that's the basis of moist and pigmented what is pigmented there are different types of amphibians are that they give color giving color is a pigment that is because a pigmented and glandular glandular means they secrete some kind of liquids to protect themselves eyes have eyelids and tympanum represents the ear i will i have eyelids tympanum means that's ear represents the ear respiration is by gills lungs and through the skins heart is three chamber kidneys are mesonephric mesonephric sexes are separate and fertilization is in external they are oviparous and development is indirect they show hibernation and estivations what is hibernation what is estivation here hibernation hibernation means during winter season they go sleeping during winter season full durations of winter seasons winter months they used to go and sleep that is because of hibernation you can underline winter sleep you can underline and just write in your textbook estivation means summer sleep just underline just write during summer season they go and just sleep full of that summer season that is because of estivations hibernation means a winter sleep you can take a textbook and just write example toad frog tree frog salamander and limbless amphibians so these are the examples they given the image you can just go through you can go through the next topic is the one class reptilia class reptilia see so here there's a latin word rep means rep we can say or reptum we can say to creep or crawl to creep or crawl they are mostly terrestrial animals they are mostly terrestrial animal terrestrial means animal which live on land we call as a terrestrial animals and their body is covered by dry and conified skin with epidermal scales and this is the one information the turtle they given the picture you can go through and epidermal scales or scutes reptiles have three chamber heart reptiles have three chamber heart and four chambered in crocodiles under the important one word they'll ask you four chamber in crocodiles all are cold blooded amniotes all are cold blooded cold blooded amniotes that's a per kilo thumbs most reptiles lay egg their egg their egg seems to be cleodic egg cle cleodic egg okay cleodic egg which means the egg which covered by shell they call as a cleodic cleodic egg the extra embryonic membranes like amnion allantos corian yolk sac so these are will presence in the egg the next excretion is by meta nephric kidneys excretion is by meta nephric kidneys under uricotelic under uricotelic the uric acid will be stored as a form of excretion waste sexes are separate with well marked sexual dimorphism with well marked sexual dimorphism internal fertilization takes place and all are oviparous all are oviparous they lay egg and they hatch out egg ones example turtle tortoise horse lizards chameleon that's a tree lizards garden lizards flying lizards crocodile then poisonous snake nagaja cobra 
then crate, then viper. So these are the examples of reptiles. Examples of reptiles. Just you can go through. Okay, you can go through. Then, so these are the picture they given you. King cobra, all the flying lizards, right? All these things they given. You can go through. Today we are seeing class reptilia. Yeah, class reptilia amphibia. Then ostic this. Then chondric this. All this class we are seeing. Just go through today itself. If you have any doubt, you can contact me. Okay, bye. Take care.